ghost. Did you know sometimes it frightens me? You say my name and I can't see you. Have you ever learned to materialize before you speak? Impetuous boy, that's what you feel. How many centuries since you've climbed a bell? Or do you do this every night with someone else? You tell me that you never leave. And I am almost afraid to believe it. Why is it me you've chosen to follow? Did you like the way I look when I'm sleeping? Was my hair more fun to tangle? Were my dreams more entertaining? Do you laugh when I'm complaining that I'm all alone? Where were you when I searched the sea for a friend to talk to? In a year, where will you be? Is it enough for you to steal into my mind, filling up my page with music written in my hand? You know I'll take the credit, for I must have made you come to me somehow. Always attend to my midnight tea parties as long as I sit at your place. If one day your sugar sits untouched, that you've gone forever, do you miss me in a thousand years when you will dry another's tears? But you say you'll never leave me, and I wonder if you'll have the decency to pass through my wall to the next room while I dress for dinner. But when I'm stuck in conversation, Shirts whose adoration hurts my ears. Where are you then? Can't you cut in when I dance with other men? It's too late not to interfere with my life. You've already made me a most unsuitable wife for any man who wants to be the first his bride has slept with. And you can't just fly into people's bedrooms, then expect them to calmly wave goodbye. You've changed the course of history. I didn't even try. Where are you now? Standing by. Taking my hand. Come, remind me.